what is up my dudes and that one girl wants to see if this is a video of success or a found footage this is bikes beers and brews let's kick that intro hey guys welcome back to the channel before we kick this one off make sure you like comment subscribe hit that bell notification new videos are hopefully coming weekly you ring that bell you'll know when they drop let's get the other stuff out of the way want to save 10% on our cardo communicator or save some money on some beyond riders gear or Kemi moto gear then you should definitely check my referral links down below want to support me and all my do goodness like these cool guys here Bam! Then you should become part of the brew crew. Join the coffee page down below. Want to I'm asking you for money? Well, next to those 10,000 Amazon affiliate links that also go to a good cause is a link explaining what I do with your money. Get it, got it, cool. Let's move on. All right, guys, so here's the deal. It is Sunday. It is still, like, everything I just recorded, the last video you saw, that was Sunday as well. I got up at 5 a.m. Uh, my original plan was to go to sleep around 5 p.m., sleep for a couple hours, get up around 11, and then make my way back home overnight. Problem is, I am wide awake, I am not tired, I tried to go to sleep, it wasn't working, so I loaded up the bike. It is 6 p.m. right now, or yeah, 20 past 6, and I am just aiming for home. I'm going to see how far I can get. I honestly would love to make it all the way, the whole 1,100 miles. But I don't know if that's going to be fully possible because that is well past 24 hours of being wide awake. Um, so we're going to go as far as we can. And if need be, we're going to stop somewhere, get a hotel, crash for a few hours, and then finish up the trip. So join me, and let's see if we can make this a 1K in a day. But honestly, like I said, I'm not going to try and die to do that. So we're, we're going to do what we need to do to get back home. So let's roll. All right, I'll let the games begin. Here we go. I can't remember how long I'm on 94 for. I know I spend a lot of time in like just a few states. Eh, whatever. It's all good. We're going to do this. Let's get it done. Take predictions. Uh, throw it down in the comments before this video gets started. What state do you think I'm going to end up grabbing a hotel in? Or do you think I'm going to make it till the end and get home? Sound off down below. No cheating by watching the video first. Let's do this. under 16 hours already. I mean, 15.48, but who's counting? And I'm already in Illinois. But uh, this is no problem. I'm gonna fly through this or something like that, I guess. I don't know. All right, carry on. Looks like Illinois isn't gonna let me escape without getting stuck in traffic. Come on, guys. It's like a Saturday night. Where are you all going? Whatever, man. <laughs> I was kind of hoping I'd get to avoid this, but uh, part for the course, I guess. Well, let's go.
Hey guys, Ben from the future here. So what this Ben doesn't realize is he did not plug in his microphone, so you can't hear a damn thing he is saying right now. Now, as you look around, you probably notice it's a whole lot brighter out than the earlier clips before the intermission. And that's because it's the next day. It's right around 7.30 in the morning, and this is Sandusky, Ohio. So basically what happened is around 2.30, I hit an absolute wall and that's 2.30 in the morning. So I had been up since 5 a.m. the previous day and I pretty much found out where my limits were. So right around Sandusky, Ohio, I realized I needed to get off the road and get a hotel room. Uh, so I hopped off the highway. There were a bunch of hotels on this road. But there was also a car show going on in the area, and every single room was booked up. So I ended up going to like six different hotels before I found one that would actually take me. I slept for a few hours, and then I was up and ready to go and tackle the day again. However, this was, you know, kind of a setback, and it's actually the first time I've ever really made any sort of stop when it comes to a 1K in a day. I usually just plow straight through. But again, 5, 5 5.30 in the morning until I, I want to say 2.30 in the morning the next day. I didn't actually lay my head on a pillow until 3.30 in the morning. And then I slept till 7.30, and clearly you can see that I'm still not fully all there by the fact that I didn't plug in my microphone. <laughs> Nonetheless, now you know, you're up to date. Let's get back to the video and see if I can do this 1K in a day still. Legit, I can't imagine this is just a coincidence or by accident. I'm on 90 East in New York, and I noticed this coming out as well. Like, this road is buckled. Like, every like 500 feet or so, it's like, it's like it has very small, aggressive speed bumps going straight across them. And I fail to believe this isn't something that, like, New York is done purposely to try and slow people down. Because let's be honest, we have a flat, straight highway, and most times, not very populated. Right now it is, but normally, not so much. And some of these things are nasty, man. They, they definitely like bounce me out of my seat and stuff because they are just aggressive. On other news, when you start doing like long rides like this, if you've never done any, you'll find yourself like changing positions a lot and trying to find different ways to stay comfortable. Um, I'm sure people have done this before. I know I'm not innovating crap here, but I definitely dropped my passenger pegs and I've had my rear feet on those and I've been like leaning forward and pretty much sport bike in this for a little while. It's um. It's a nice change, and it definitely puts pressure in different places than, you know, where it's been for the whole time you've been riding. So, I don't know, if you're on a long ride and you're looking for another way to get a little bit more comfy, just keep this one in your back pocket. You might like it. I feel like Highway 90, just in general, should just be dubbed the Hillbilly Highway, because there's so much of this. Whether loaded on the back of a truck getting towed somewhere or you know something a little bit smaller not by much actually on the highway driving yeah hillbilly highway i like it that's where we are we are on the hillbilly highway Uh, 
show it, show us it. Oh, there we go, Boston. We're, we're almost home. I have got 201 miles left until I am home. I have got 60 miles until I hit 1K in a day. Now, even though I went to sleep for a couple hours, I'm still in that 24 hour window. And let me tell you, when I was doing the math earlier, I was like, crap, I'm gonna miss it by about 20 minutes. And that sucks. Well, there's, there's two things to take into account here. A, I've crossed a time zone where I've moved forward an hour. And B, I did uh, 1140 miles. So not 1,000, but 1140. So my entire trip is not the 1K. I actually hit that much earlier. And it's not like it really matters. I'm not doing it for, um, I, I know there's a couple of organizations that do the 1K in the day stuff. It's just kind of fun to know that I've done them. And you know, I kind of wear that as my own personal like badge of honor or something, of stupidity. I don't know, whatever, pick an adjective, throw it down below, that's where we're at. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get into Massachusetts. Oh man, I missed you Massachusetts. <laughs> I got the camera on because this is sick, dude. Oh, this is this is awesome. I don't know what it is, man, but I love going over bridges and stuff. The the scenery, uh, they're, they're just cool, man. There's just something about like bridges that fascinate the hell out of me. I don't know total child, whatever. It's cool. It, it's cool. <laughs> I know I've said this before, but we're about to pull a Kurt Russell and escape from New York. Welcome to Massachusetts. Oh man, I am so glad to be home. All right, now I actually got to get home. <laughs> oh, I am, let's see, 20 miles away from 1K. And then uh, I am 160 miles total away from being home. So let's finish strong, shall we? All right, guys, I got 140 miles until I'm home, which means the 1K is officially done. It is 4.20 p.m. right now, <laughs> 4.20. Although, if you adjust for central time, because I started at 6.30 p.m. yesterday, central time, it's actually 3.20 p.m. that I finished this up. Not bad considering I stopped and, you know, slept for like five hours and took a shower and all that stuff. So yeah, I mean, if you're ever thinking about doing a 1K, it is obtainable. Get out there and do it. You can like do one where you run for like eight hours, you just roll out there, then you stop, go to sleep for like five hours or, you know, grab some dinner, go to sleep for a couple hours, wake up, take a shower, get back on the road, and then bang out the rest and still have time. It's uh, it's it's really that easy. <laughs> I mean, it's I guess it's not easy, easy, but it it can be easy. Like do it up, 
do it up. You should do this. Uh, do it once at least when, in your life. But anyway, I'm going to finish getting home now because I cannot wait to just get on my couch, see the wife, see the dogs, and just relax a little bit. And, you know, that sort of fun things. Uh, sure, I'm not going to be able to fully relax. My wife really likes doing all the birthday stuff. So I'm sure stuff's going to be lined up and ready for me to walk into. And that's really cool. So I'm looking forward to that as well. Uh, so let's let's go home. All right. I'm, I'm all right, guys. I'm home. Betty is home. We are exhausted. I'm going inside. This is the end of the video. Um, so I started riding Thursday. Today is Sunday. This is when I got back. Obviously, two 1K in the days that were in there. But the total was like 2,418 miles over that time. So it was a, it was a good weekend. <laughs> it was a real good weekend. What did you guys do? Throw in the comments down below. Uh, this would be today is July 28th. It's my birthday. <laughs> so, yeah, let me know what you guys were doing while I was doing this. Share this video with friends. Share it with family. Share it with the one dude you know who's like, oh, I'd love to do a 1K in a day. I just don't have time. Trust me, one dude. You do. You totally do. Um, and trust me. See y'all on the flip side.